Hey everybody, it's Monster back again with Opus Gaming, and I'm here today to bring you guys a Metal Garurumon X versus uh, Black War Greymon X in the BT12 format. This is going to be testing for Nats, and I know that this is kind of a matchup that everybody kind of wants to see, because uh, theoretically, you know what I mean, Black War Greymon should just win. But Melga has been so strong for the past few formats, and we all know how blue players are. They really like the blue decks when they are super strong, so kind of getting into it, it looks like it's going to be me on blue going first. And I'm going to Digivolve into the Modeki Betamon. I didn't want to put one of the Gabumons in the raising just because I had that Gabu Gabumon X. But also, my hand was kind of bricky, so I know I needed a search. I don't think playing the Davis on turn one is the play, so I think I just... Oh, maybe I do play T Davis turn one. We'll see. Yeah. Just play out the Gabumon. That way I can get the search. Next turn I can get the Gabumon X, and I can find a Garurumon pretty quick here, so... Let's see. So with Black War Greymon X, it's going to be kind of the same thing. They're going to be digivolving a stack, but they'll raise their stack up because their stack has so much interaction with your side of the board. So he drops down the plus 2k Agumon and a 4 cost Tamer. So here I'm just going to digivolve on top of my Gabumon, get the X. I drew into the Sagittarius mode there, which is actually very powerful. And we pick up the uh, Garurumon here. I don't think I digivolve into Garurumon. I think it's best to play the Davis here since I'm on one memory. And then I can get a search. Hopefully I can, next turn I can just go up to my level 5 in raising. Yep. One, two. Yeah, we got the Garurumon X. So everything's going pretty well on the um, on the blue side of things. But with this new red black work Raymon X, man, they can just pop off out of absolutely nowhere. So let's see what he, how he proceeds this turn. He was going to raise up on this turn. I'm sure he really wants to get that Gabumon out of there so I can't get a swing off. Uh, cool boy for two gets the yeah that's a double hit that's a nice plus Gaiomon does count as an X antibody goes into the Agumon X to get the turn extension he gains a memory draws a card and then reveals three for Agumon X effect getting that Greymon which is pretty much perfect here did evolve into that Greymon I'm sure right away let's see what he wants to do here Yep, goes straight into the Greymon. It costs one because Agumon is in the Inheritable. Even if there's an Agumon X, you are able to still get that effect going off as long as there's an Agumon within that stack. Um, he goes into the um, Greymon X Antibody, the new one. He slots down an X Antibody option, and then he's going to reduce the cost of this Greymon just so he doesn't put me to four. He'll still put me to three, but he pops the, uh, the Gabumon, which is exactly what he wanted to do there. Because it's going to be too costly for me to digivolve all the way up and bounce his stack on this turn or attempt to. So, go into the uh, Garurumon and Raising. I went into this one uh, trying to get like a little bit more DP boost, but I think that you could say that it was probably better to go into the promo one that's in my hand. But we'll see how the game plays out. We go into the X to get the extra draw. And I think here the perfect finish is just honestly finishing on the five and making things easy for yourself going like forward so I can have a very aggressive turn on the next turn. But. Man, Black War Greymon X, he can pop my Tamer, he can do a lot of things here, so. Starting off, he's going to go into the Altarius mode. He's at the wrong Tamer there, I was like, I don't think you can tap uh, Cool Boy, but yeah, no. He's wanted to give it protection from options, and now he's going into the X Antibody. Gain a memory, draw a card, uh, sitting in a really powerful position here, and then he goes into the Gaiomon. Puts me to two technically, I'm going to go to three, I get a cool boy here, that's insane, and then the cool boy reveals a Melga X. Really, really powerful, uh, this just really powerful going back and forth, he's ha having a really powerful turn, and I'm getting set up for a pretty powerful turn, so. Alright, we raise up here, unsuspend, I believe he trashed my, yep, that was why I got the third life trashed. Because he swung with security check plus two. And I think here we just start going in. I hope to survive this first check because it's so important. I'm swinging an AK and um, he'll resand. Unfortunately, we see a 16k on the first swing. So that's just really discerning. But Muchi always tells me you got to just gamble. You just got to go for it even if you don't have the perfect, perfect protection. So we go into the Sagittarius mode here because I'm going back into more protection. We're going to play down the cool boy because I need the X antibody. Yep, and we find the X antibody. These searchers for me are just going pretty much perfect. I'm seeing everything that I want to see back to back. So we're gonna digivolve into the X, draw two, gain two memory, draw for digivolve as well. We see the ice wall here, but unfortunately, ice wall is pretty much 
non-effective in this matchup, which I'm sure we'll see here in a second. But here I'm just going full steam ahead. I have protection again. I'm on my X antibody. We're gonna declare attack into security and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna digivolve. I make a small misplay here that we rectify. I have a hammer spark in, in hand and I need to continue my turn because I can't just pass turn with this play because he can protect his uh his Gaiomon from getting bounced. So we hammer spark up, we've rectify everything. Now we did evolve, pay the four, go to zero. And now he's gonna tr attempt to bounce the uh, the Gaiomon. Gaiomon's gonna use Alterius mode, or yeah, Alterius mode's effect. Gonna pop two of the same uh, three level threes from his um, stack and protect itself. Unfortunately, I swing into the 13K while at 13K. So I got to get rid of two more rap battle protections. So now we're out of battle protections. We just got a raw Melga on the board. He still has two life, but I'm going to take those life away just because it's it's not worth it leaving the blocker standing um, because I'm going to lose my stack going for uh, trying to protect and I don't have anything on the following turn. So I don't have the Omnimon here and this is where it probably would have been really, really helpful to have that extra draw because I could have been searching for Omnimon during all these, uh, or I could have been picking up extra cards during all these swings, trying to find that Omnimon here, but unfortunately we didn't. So we try to Ice Wall here, but we realize that he's gonna be completely unaffected during his turn. So we hold the Ice Wall, stay on one. And I think we just probably have to put a body on board here to have some sort of chance of um, popping off enough on our next turn. But that also requires us picking up a few cards from uh, from our top deck and digivolves. I'm in a rough place here. I could play the Davis, but I don't think playing the Davis is really effective here. Yeah, if I have that Gagumon X, I think I just slam that pass turn and hope to survive, even though I probably won't. And see, picked up the Amimon. So yeah, with two extra draws, I would have seen that um, from all my swings and I could have just digivolved on top of him to try to go for game. But looking here, I think Gagumon is just really looking to finish finish up the game here uh he's gonna hatch in a second i'm sure but actually it really doesn't matter yeah swing into my uh melga with no battle protection play out an agumon go to zero gonna reveal i'm sure he has an agumon x so he's just gonna ping right back up for um for memory Let's see what he does here though. Yep, Agumon X, yep, draw, tap two, gonna go back to two. He just picked up Blocker Greymon. So even though I'm sitting on a Korikaku in hand and that, that card that I boarded, the extra body, is just not enough. Uh, he's gonna Digivolve for two, go to zero, gets the Blocker Greymon. I'm sure he has an X antibody, which is gonna be the next play here. Yep. And he's gonna pop the memory boost, go to two. And now since his, his uh, Greymon X reduces the cost of a multicolor card, um, it'll reduce the cost of Greymon by two, so he's on zero, and then now he can just Digivolve to four. Pop my Davis, and now he's no longer even caring about if I have a Hybrid in hand, and he really just locked down the, the play there. Hitting that that red memory boost uh, in security was very, very, very costly for me when I was trying to push for game there. So, so I think this game is pretty much wrapped up. There's not a lot that I can do. He has so many bodies on board, but I'm pretty sure I'll probably try to present Lethal in Raising. Um, with a multi attacker at the very least, but that's that's the that's the very best that I can do. Or I play down the Davis. Let's see what I do here. I think I'm kind of starved for cards. I can probably go into Gururumon X. Oh, I do have the earlier Gururumon. Yeah. So nothing too fancy here. Nothing too uh, crazy. Just gonna go try to play the Ice Wall because only one of his guys are unaffected. Um, so it's kind of effective, but it, it's not gonna be able to save me. I'm sure. And then do I go into the five or do I play the Davis? I play the Davis because I'll be able to go into the five and then the X right after. So here I'm not sure what to pick up from the um from the Davis actually, but also Muchi got called away for I think this day was one piece, so they were giving out prizing. You guys know how important that is. You gotta run up there and grab that, try to get that alt art uh Trafalgar Law. But really and truly trying to decide here what to what to grab. I think that I need the level six, I guess. But um it would have been nice to grab a searcher as well. But and then he, oh yeah, this is because he is his Gaiomon unsuspended during the unsuspend phase and he trashes uh, top of my security because of it. That was something that we missed at the start of the turn just because so much was going on. So we rectified it there, but it didn't matter too much whether I'm one, on one security or two security because he has a Gaiomon that is um, checking for two with a lot of memory. But here I'm sure he just Omnimons me for game or something like that because if you swing, go into Omnimon, uh, you just trash the last security and the swing goes into the player for game. But maybe he just swings with uh, both Digimon. 
there's not really anything in security that could uh that could kill oh he doesn't kill me here so he clears my entire board goes into you know goes into the black war on x and what this does is it makes it so i can't can't swing multiple times because he can redirect the attack and then also he can crack my stack when he unsuspends so i do gain a memory get the x antibody but none of it really matters because this is his board is perfectly set up to to deal with whatever i can do and he knows that so i i didn't know that at the time so this is going to be me learning um how all the effects resolve so you guys can kind of see too for anybody that is going to nats that wants to see how these two decks interact and everything like that this is what would happen if you if you try to like kind of force through so you go here you go for the battle protection and everything like that and i'm gonna go into the i have the level five which is cute and awesome but i can't go into the level six to try to go into that omnimon that's in my hand um but all of it all of it is and doesn't really matter too much so here I go into the X and he's just explaining to me like you declare attack so you go into the X declare attack to try to go into your Melga X right Melga X will try to uh, bounce both Digimon but we'll, I'll show you here oh he will try to bounce both Digimon both Digimon have protection but then the Black War Greymon X is just going to kill your your Melga so I, top, I think I just yeah I guess I didn't have one in hand but I top deck that um we're gonna wrap it up pretty soon here, but this is really just like a learning process because I, I don't play blue all too often. I understand everything now, but at the time I wasn't really sure. So I swung here, right? Try to digivolve and he protects. If he didn't have the protection here, I could bounce both before he's able to redirect or pop my guy, but he protects both, both effects resolve. Uh, Black War Greymon will resolve, deleting the stack because he unsuspended. And then that's just the end of the game there, so. Muji's explaining to me here how uh, the Gururumon really was kind of like a game changer there because I needed the extra cards and I needed the extra resource to to kind of uh, get out of his board without uh, getting so stuck. But it was just something that I didn't know. So as we kind of clean up and get ready for game two here, uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel and you've been seeing my content, liking my content, drop a sub down below. Ninety over ninety five percent of you guys that see my content and view my stuff uh, consistently aren't subscribed so i'd really really appreciate it we just crossed over our first saw uh, 300 subs and now we're on our way to our first 500 so we're getting there pretty quick already getting cr creeping up on 325 so if you could help us get on, uh get on that road to uh, 1000 subs i'd really really appreciate it as well as we do have a lot of gameplay coming out on the channel but for deck profiles and things like that you guys can definitely expect to see more of those coming in the coming in the next couple weeks here so I know that things like Battle Spirit Saga are starting to, starting to creep up on us. We got that release coming up soon. Digimon Nats is kind of just a start. So after Nats, we have OPO 2 for One Piece. So there's so much stuff coming to the channel. You guys know we love Bandai card games. So if you guys have any questions, you guys see any really big misplays and things like that that you can see uh, for me as the Melga player, uh, drop the comments down below and let me know. But if you guys like my, my content, leave a like so getting into game two though he starts off super strong goes into the agumon with the 2k boost and raising and drops a cool boy to set me to two i think i have a pretty strong start here too because i have a, a, a gabumon to digivolve into and then a gabumon x to put on top of that uh, i pick up two cards here i got the davis i got the memory boost i think playing out the davis here is the best play just because it sets me up for the future turns i get my three memory every turn and we can start to we can start gaming and choking him so Picking up a Gabu or a Garurumon here and then passing turn, I don't know all what he's going to be able to do. So right now we have everybody kind of chilling around us too. So we're all just kind of discussing the meta. So there's a few conversations going on with some of the hand gestures that you guys are seeing and stuff. But he's going to miss out the cool boy. We need that because he picked up two off the last game and we just are fighting for advantage here. So he's going to tap two, draw two really quick, and then he's going to reveal three off of his uh, Agumon X effect picks up two <laughs> plus two to the hand size and then um he's back on two so now we can go into that Greymon for one because we do have an agumon within the stack not directly under but it is under there uh go into the x and then we are just going to finish he's just going to finish his board with the level five and kind of pass turn to us so oh and, and it's the just going straight into the level five x antibody so that's pretty sweet. He's going to be able to uh, just go into his level six and have pretty huge effects on the board state from here. So for me, it's pretty straightforward here. What I want to do, I want to go into a four. I would really like to pick up the um, the X antibody level four, but I don't have it right now. I could cool boy or memory boost for it. Or do I just go into the five? Oh, Gabumon for it. Okay. That way I can try to swing on his life 
put them down to four and uh being at an even number is just a bit better for the for the garurumon player in general just because you can go security check plus one security check plus one and then when you're getting that third swing in it's uh swinging for game so here he goes into the Gaiomon though is just gonna yep just goes two two at security it's gonna hit a hammer spark though so i gain two memory and uh he reboots and trashes one of my security so he didn't crack my gabumon but here we have a lot of memory and not a lot of cards in hand that we need uh we're missing a few pieces here we don't have the x antibody and stuff like that and that's super super scary but i think moochie's telling me right here that like sometimes you just gotta play the you gotta play the game you're playing a win and um the protection is really nice and everything like that but if you don't have it and you have the opportunity to check five which i do here you go for it so we're gonna start off, we're gonna swing into security. What I need here is the X antibody, followed by the level six, followed by the uh, by the level six X, which is doable, so we'll see what we get here. We don't have the draw Gururumon, which hinders us a lot from our options, but we're swinging, what is it, 8K? And triggering um, the Gabumon effect to search. I was looking for a Gabumon, but I forgot that he can grab any tamer too. So it's gonna be the blue tamer to hand and resanding for effect. I was asking him if I should Digivolve here, and he's like, no, it's not worth it to go into a 10k attacker because you're already 8k. You're going to kill over everything for the most part that you're going to see in the level 5 slot, and wasting the attack is just kind of unnecessary. So, Seeing what we how we proceed here, because we just died on the first check to another Omnima, no, to a, a level 6, so that was unfortunate. We play the Garurumon X here, and the thing is, um, you would think that if you just played that X antibody first and searched, that I would have found the Garurumon X, but that's untrue because my first three reveals from that Gabumon inheritable, there was no Garurumon X antibody in there, so unfortunately I wasn't going to be able to find it before I started um, digivolving regardless of which way I did the, did the effects. Here... It's a gamble. I don't have very much, but I'm also super low on life. I need to put a body on, the only body I have is the body on board and I need to start building again. Um, so I need to commit to board. He doesn't have the level five that lets him attack standing, standing Digimon. So it's not super, super worth it to, um, for him to attack into me, but I opt to go for the, for the uh, hammer spark into the memory boost to pick up the proper level four here so I can go into protection. And hopefully, hopefully it can live, but we'll see how this next turn goes. I have to commit to the board here, yeah. I just don't have enough time to wait for, for my hatch. So here, the guy on one player is for sure going to try to go for game, though. I'm pretty sure he's going to want to hatch. Maybe he won't sell on me as much as he did in the first game. but So he's going to hatch here, gets the Coromon. Uh, I don't know if... I'm sure he doesn't have Blitz Omnimon in hand because he would just go for that uh, right away here because it doesn't matter what he hits in security. Um, oh, we're going to go into the Omnimon X. So he's going to be able to out my Garurumon. Yep, he reveals security, trashes the Garurumon X. Not that it really matters, but and then he's just going to swing into the super low um, Gabumon. So right there, that was a really clean play. He did sell on me. I thought he wasn't going to, <laughs> but uh, that's a really, really clean way to do it because really uh, I don't have any options at that point. He kills my body, he gets his check-in, and he gets to reveal my security to make sure there's no bombs in there. So I think that that's like pretty much a perfect uh, finish for, for the deck just because you don't want to be too... Uh, too overbearingly aggressive while getting nothing accomplished this is another one of those situations where we're trying to figure out if there's a way that i can like hard play the four right and try to get up into the six but there just wasn't i didn't think about it uh, all too much but yeah that's the end of the game that's gonna be the end of the match so it is very hard for the for the melga player to get going just because it takes you a little bit of time to find your pieces and everything but if uh the black war Greymon can kind of make a statement and really put a really put a damper on your on your plays it's really hard for you to to uh, push forward i think melga is a really good choice for the for the ultimate cup in general though so i don't think that it should discourage you too much from anything like uh like running melga but it's just something to think about so if you guys have made, have made it this far and you guys enjoy this type of commentary and the and the testing for nat series drop a sub down below like you guys already know subscribe or i'm sorry leave a comment and everything like that but this is me jamonster with opus gaming i'm out take care guys peace